Here we go again. Another day, another moron. What's up everybody? It's your boy Zach the Celtics guy here. I'm back with another video and I'm here to address this fucking moron once again that I have discussed quite some time, quite a number of times on this channel and oh my god. Just when you think that this fucking dumbass can't get any stupider he somehow manages, he somehow keeps managing to break records. And yes, I'm talking about Killer Creed, a.k.a. Aussie Tiger. Now, I know I, I already made a video about him the other day, and I really didn't have any interest in making any further content about him for the foreseeable future. But because one of my good friends posted uh, this little announcement on Facebook about this dumb motherfucker... I just looked at it and I said, you know what, this is worthy of a response and this is just too, this is just too fucking retarded to not respond to. Like I said before, unless he does something monumentally retarded or something noteworthy or something where there's like news about him, then I'm just going to keep walking. But this, this is monumentally fucking retarded. So where, yes, it's worthy of a response. So yeah, I've discussed this motherfucker on this channel so much. And the reason I've done it more so than I wish I have is because he keeps coming back and he keeps and he keeps fucking running his mouth about stupid shit that he knows nothing about. And by the way, I know Creed and his fantards are going to flood the comments again like they did with my last few videos. Okay, so go ahead, fuckers. You want to do it? Fuck you. Go fuck yourselves. You can comment as much as you want. Say whatever you want. I don't care. It isn't going to fucking change anything. So go right ahead. Just, just keep commenting. Keep commenting. Because you know what? At the end of the day, you're only proving my point. You are only proving my point. By flooding my comments and spamming my comments with fucking 10, 15 comments. You and your idiotic fantards. So, you can keep doing it. You can keep doing it. I'm just going to sit back and laugh my ass off. And I'm going to and I'm gonna come out and bust your asses up. And my, I'm sure many of my fans are going to do the same thing. So, fuck you. Okay. So, this little uh, announcement, well, more like retarded announcement, rather. Fucking Creed is now bitching that he received a copyright strike and a false copyright strike. Received a false copyright strike and claims it was someone by the name of Jordan Campbell saying that Jordan Campbell is a disgrace. <laughs> saying that the person who gave him a false copyright strike is a, dis is a disgrace. Yeah, I actually did mention I was going to bring this up the other day, but actually, he also said that one of my other fans was like a pedophile and all this other, you know, false defamatory bullshit. I might respond to that at some point. I don't plan on doing it at this very, at this present time, but I will do it in the future. But, but for now, I'm going to definitely respond to this because this is definitely monumentally fucking retarded. So apparently Creed received a copyright strike and he claims it was false. And I'm just, all right, so I'm going to do this, the classic, play the video, and we'll respond as we go along. Oh, this should be, inter oh, this should be interesting. And I'm sure it's going to be stupider than I think. I don't know how. I'm just, just, bra just going to brace myself, and everybody watching, brace yourselves. Yes, his new intro is basically the same. He's basically took... The, the music from fucking Pornhub and put it as a and put it as his intro so his intro was to to this to this wow Creed you're really moving up in the world. You go from yo 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 ba, da, 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 to ra 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 to the same website of of oh this one's fucking this one. You're a G you are a joke. Yeah, I'm sure he did this because actually I'm sure that's the only way Creed gets off. I don't even want to know how Creed gets ew 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 ew. Anyway, let's just let's just play this fucking bullshit and let's go from here. But yeah, that's the new intro. What is up, Aussie Tiger Nation? It's your boy Aussie Tiger here. I'd like to welcome you all back to another video. And today, this is an unplanned video. 
of course, and it's not a very good unplanned video because I've got some really bad news. So, like, you mean bad news as in good news? <laughs> last night, I received an email notification, and what it said on the email notification made me stop what I was doing and check it because it said your video has been taken down. So when I went and had a look, I was like, what the fuck? Right? Why would one of my videos be taken down? I don't violate YouTube's terms of service. Oh, you don't violate YouTube's terms of service. Other than when you dox people and slander them and make defamatory comments about them. And you, you make false, you make false accusations about people on a fucking daily basis. Oh yeah, other than that, Creed, you're a big rule follower. You're like rule follower of the year. Go fuck yourself. Days. So, when I had a look, I saw that it was a copyright strike. And basically, the video that got taken down was my Cardman 22 Rage compilation. And the person who took the video down was Geordie Pluto, also known as Jordan Campbell. What was it good for him? In the video, it was basically a compilation of when Cardman 22 rages. And in the video, there were clips that were taken off of his channel to put in the video. Basically, this was a false copyright claim. It was fair use. I can't stop laughing because it's just so fucking pathetic. It's so pathetic. I can't help for, but laugh. It's so, it's so pathetic. He is such, he is such a fucking clown. He is such a clown. He's such, he's such a, he's such a hack. He's such a fucking goddamn hack. It's not even funny. I am allowed to take clips out of people's videos. No, you're not. You're not allowed to take, you're not allowed to take parts of other people's videos and upload them in a video, okay? You're not allowed to fucking do that, okay? So, you know what? If you were doing this without this person's permission, then you pretty much got what you deserve. But, you know what? In all due honesty, whether or not it was a false copyright strike, you do realize, Creed, you brought this on your fucking self, okay? Like, let's just cut to the chase. You bring this shit on yourself. So, instead of finding something else to do with your time, more constructive, I know quarantine in Australia is probably getting boring for you, okay? Okay? I feel for everyone, to, I do, but you know what? If you had anything better to do with your time, and you were doing other things, other than trying to poke the stick in the eye of everybody else, you would not be in this predicament. If you just left these people alone and you stopped making video after video after video after video about people and about stuff that you know nothing about and have no information about other than the perceived information that you think you know about, you wouldn't be in this predicament. So no, motherfucker, you brought this on yourself. Whether or not it was false copyright strike, I don't care if it was false or not, because you know what? You're no victim. You're not a victim here. You're not like someone like a good person who had good intentions and was making a video and then YouTube's like bullshit system like arbitrarily took your video down or your content or whatever. No, you're not the victim here. Everything that you do, you bring it on yourself by doing this shit. And you only prove my point and other people's points by acting this way. So... You're only proving our point even more by you acting this way. You bring it all on yourself. You got nobody but yourself to blame here, Creed. And use it if it's in a way to parody a video or something like that. Your definition of parody is basically this person is a pedophile. This person is doxing people. This person is doing this. This person's doing that. Oh, I don't like this person because of X, Y, Z, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's exactly what that was. So I've obviously retracted a counterclaim and will be disputing this copyright claim from him. And hopefully YouTube actually do their job and reinstate the video because there's no way that Geordie's gonna be able to prove that I stole his content because I didn't. However, knowing YouTube and what they did a couple of years ago, well, it was last year actually, when I made a video where it was just literally a black screen and me talking when I was on my phone because my computer was broken at the time, Rainy Pen decided to falsely copyright strike that even though there was literally no way that could be copyrighted. And then... Copyrighted? You mean copywritten? Wow. You can't even fucking speak proper English. You can't even speak proper language. That is not even proper language. 
copy written, copy, whatever the fuck you said. I, I don't know. I, I can't even. I, I can't even keep up with you. You're such a fucking moron. You are such. You're. You are such a fucking dumbass. You're such an idiotic moron. I cannot even keep up with you. But no, that's not even proper English, Creed. Somehow YouTube d decided that it was copyright, even when I disputed the claim. I just want to say this. I know where I work, there's people who live in my, who live in the shelter that I work at, who live in this country and they barely speak any English, and they speak better fucking English than you. They're probably more educated than you too. I know, I, I know there, there are several people who only speak Spanish, they don't speak a fucking word of English, and they speak more properly than you do. And you still wouldn't reinstate the video even though it was obviously not copyright. I'll show you a screenshot of what video it was up on the screen right now and you guys can go ahead and watch it and you'll see how bullshit of a strike that was. But basically, I told him that I was going to- barely, barely, like, you sound like you've been fucking drinking. <laughs> e either he's been fucking, either he's, he's really triggered, he's been whining and crying and bitching his ass out, which I think he does on a daily basis, or he's been drinking. I think Creed needs to start drinking. He either needs to start drinking or stop drinking. I'm going to be contacting the police if he didn't put the video back up. Wait, wait, wait. I told him that I was going to be contacting the police if he didn't put the video back up. You're going to contact the police because a website, because a website that you put your videos on isn't going to reinstate your video? Are you fucking kidding me? Like I said, Creed keeps breaking records of stupidity. Okay, dumbass. Can you imagine wasting the police's time with your petty ass bullshit that you have with YouTube and you have with other people on YouTube? And by the way, people on the internet that you know nothing about and you never met in a day in your life and you probably never will. Okay, I can imagine you contacting the Queensland Police Service Queensland Police Service, how can I help you? Oh yeah, my name's Kelly Creed and I wanted to just let you know that uh, YouTube arbitrarily took my video down. It was a violation of my freedom of speech. No, but... And then the, the cop on the other end would be like, Hey Kai, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? What do you want me to do about it? Listen here, you feral, I want you to tell it. Excuse me? Excuse me, would you just call me? Yeah, okay, Creed. Yeah, go ahead and contact the police. Contact the Queensland Police Service. Contact the Bris Brisbane uh, Police Department or wherever the fuck you live. I'm not saying where Creed lives because I don't even know where in Queensland he lives. I don't give a shit where Creed lives. I don't care if Creed lives on the fucking moon. Like, Creed could live on Uranus for all I give a shit. Okay? I'm just saying, contact the whatever city, but state level police, state territory, wherever the fuck. And contact them and waste their time with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call the police when, when the police are out there fighting crime and, and probably responding to, uh, responding to, like, emergencies, medical emergencies and dangers. Really, really. They're going to waste any ounce of their time or energy or resources on your petty-ass bullshit. Go fuck yourself, you fucking disingenuous cocksucking prick. And he put the video back up, so... Very lucky for him because I definitely was not happy having a completely false copyright strike and I was starting to really question my faith in humanity at that stage. I question the I, same thing. I question humanity as well. And it's because of fucking idiots like you. You could just fucking report, terminate people's channels for basically nothing. Um, I felt like that's what was going to happen at the time. Hmm. Hmm. That's funny. When it's when it involves someone you don't like, like Damien, for example, you don't give a shit because you don't like him and you don't like that other person. So when it doesn't affect you, you don't give a shit about it. But now when it's affecting you, now all of a sudden you care because you're so fucking selfish and you're so self and you are so self aggrandizing. You're so you're just so wrapped up in your own little bubble. OK, like, OK, so 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 like when it when it happens to Damien and it happened to him for stupid reasons. You you said nothing about it. You're just like, oh, he deserved it, or ha 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 ha, my fantards, whatever. That's what you were saying, okay? You're on the wrong side of this. You're on the wrong side of everything. Fucking Killer Creed was on the wrong side of the Red Wolf issue, 
Okay, and and like I said, Red Wolf is a piece of shit. He's a, he's a creepy pervert, and he had no business doing what he did. But Creed was on the wrong side of that issue because he took information about him, like his license plate number on Facebook, and posted it in his video. But then he says, "Oh, because he posted it in the vid in, on his on his Facebook, that means I have permission to take it and put it in the other video and put it in my video." No, it doesn't. Whether it's public or not, you don't have a right to take that information yourself and put it in another video and then use on your behalf at that other person's expense. That's how fucking stupid you are. That's how fucking ridiculous you are. You are a ridiculous human being. You are a fucking ridiculous human being. You are not a serious person, Creed. You are not a serious person. And this is why people don't take you seriously. This is why you are the laughing stock of the internet. This is why you are the laughing stock of everybody. Because you don't, you are on the wrong side of everything. Because you know nothing. You think you know everything when in reality you know nothing. You are on the wrong side of the Red Wolf issue. And it's idiots like you that causes bullshit censorship like this to continue for platforms to take these people off, okay? Fucking people like Killer Creed. When I come on here and I talk about how much I'm against censorship, fucking people like Killer Creed hurt my cause more than anybody else. Because somebody like him acting this way, and then you're, and then other people are going to be like, huh, wow, you're against censorship? You believe in idiots like this on our platforms? Haha, <laughs> well, huh. I'm sorry, but uh, like this guy's ridiculous. And no, I don't agree with that mentality. This is why I think, you know, platforms should be considered public utilities for freedom of speech purposes. And I don't care. Creed has the right to say whatever he wants, but, I, but I'm always going to take the piss out of it because it's hilarious. Well, I'm not going to make it a daily thing, but you know what I mean. But no, fucking people like you, Creed, you hurt my cause, you're on the wrong side of everything, and you know nothing. This is why you're a ridiculous person, you're not a serious person, and nobody with a brain takes you seriously. And I felt like that's what was going to happen when I went to bed tonight. I thought I was probably going to wake up to a Terminator channel lucky I haven't received any further copyright strikes. I've not. Well, you're going to if you keep this up. If you keep it up and you keep acting like a moron, it isn't going to eventually happen to you. It's going to come back and bite you in the ass. It already happened on Discord. It's coming, Creed. So unless you get your act together, which I have no confidence that you're going to, you're not going to last the way you're going. You're not going to last on this platform or on any other platform for that matter with the way you're acting because people are not going to dig this shit. idea if Jordan has attempted to copyright strike other videos or if it was just that one. But if it was just that one, what I don't understand is why the Rage compilation, there's plenty of other videos that he probably could have copyright striked that would have been better for him to copyright strike. Okay, so 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 you're admitting that you have other videos he technically could have copyright that he could have copyright striked. Wow. So basically, okay, so so this one video you say it isn't, but now you're saying my basically you're basically saying in other words, my other videos are. My other videos are. My other videos are. Like, oh, oh, you could have easily have done it to my other channel. You're base, so you're basically admitting that you have other videos that are in violation of YouTube's terms of service. So which is it, Creed? Again, you can't have it both ways. You can't have your yellow cake and eat it too. I know, you love to do this. You love to have it both ways, Creed. But this is, this is not fictional Aussie Tiger world. This is the real world. This is not the AFL world. This is the real world. Get with the fucking program. Oh, wait a minute. You can't because you know nothing. And I was obviously concerned that all his feral friends were going to try and mass flag my videos and if that does happen i will be taking matters into my own hands obviously i do have a lot of their addresses so yeah you know do do do, do what is there to say about someone like this like your idea of taking matters into your own hands is to fucking re and bitch and complain. Okay, so so you have their addresses okay you dox them okay so that's what you're gonna do so you're basically admitting you're gonna dox them if you get my channel terminated, mate, you know what's going to happen because I'll have all the time in the world. I won't have YouTube videos to make anymore because I'm not going to fucking make a new channel after this. Good fucking riddance. And if you don't, and if you, and good, you know what? If you do, good riddance. Okay? Because you know what? You're going to prove that we won against you and you're just going to throw in the towel and leave after this. Okay, good, good. You just made my job 
so much easier. You just made my job so much easier and you're saving everyone so much aggravation. So you know what, Creed, if you do leave and never come back, that would be the greatest thing. You'd be doing everyone such a big favor on this platform. So you know what, you wanna dox people and do that? Okay, so you wanna do that, go to the police, do whatever you want, fucking bitch on the website, do whatever you wanna do. But I'll tell you right now, you dox someone, you leak their information out, this is why I'm telling everybody, be careful with what you have on this. This is why you got to be careful on the internet. It's, it's not a good, it's always, it's not always a friendly place with fucking idiots like this. So you know what, Creed? You want to go leak these people's information? That is a crime and you will go to prison and you will be fined. Okay? And they will find you. Your police will find you. Okay? I'm telling you. They will fucking find your ass and they will put you in jail. Okay? So you know what? I dare you to do it, Creed. So you can go to jail. I dare you to do it. If you do this to these people, I dare you to do it because I know you are so stupid to do it. Because you are such a friggin' hypocrite. You are such a fucking hypocritical moron that you said Damien was doxing people when he was saying this other person's name or whatever. You're saying their name when that name was already out there in the first place. That's doxing, right? Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, that's doxing, right? But, but what you're doing saying, I'm going to leak their addresses, I have this information, you know what's going to happen next. Oh, no, that's not doxing, right? Okay, do it, Creed. I dare you to do it so you can go to prison and you can get a big fine up the ass. You will lose your house, you will lose your business, you will lose everything that you have. You will lose more than just your YouTube channel if you do this dumbass. Because it's against the law. You're not just breaking YouTube's terms of service. You're breaking your own country's law. You're breaking the laws of multiple other countries. So you know what? Do it. I dare you to do it so you, so you can face the consequences. You will fucking pay. There are consequences. There are consequences for your actions, Creed. Remember that. Remember that. And if you're watching this, you piece of shit, just know that. Just know that. There are consequences. And there will be. I do have a second channel. If I do happen to get a second strike, I will be removing all of my videos off this channel for the three month duration to avoid any further strikes. So that means I'll be uploading to my second channel if that does happen. So it's important that you guys go ahead and subscribe to that second channel. I want to make sure I get as much people over there as possible. The channel is getting close to 500 subscribers. Not interested. This is how I have to respond to that. So, It'd be nice if I could hit that as a result of this video. If I do have to private all my videos for three months, that's the channel I'll be posting regular content to. It pro I'll probably pause some series on this channel because I want it all kept in one channel. But any, you know, sort of exposed videos or AFL tips or just talking about AFL topics or things like that, that that's the channel to be on. So. Please go ahead and subscribe to that channel. Not I believe that channel might already actually have a strike. If not, it's just a warning. Because one of my videos did recently get taken down on that channel falsely. So, I've also got a third channel. So, I'd also like you to subscribe to that third channel. Because if I get two strikes on my second channel, I'll do the same thing as I would with this main channel. And then move to my third channel. So, the link to the third channel will be in the description. I know there's no content on my third channel. I haven't had to use that third channel yet. Hopefully I don't have to get to that point. Hopefully I can just continue to use my main channel. Please subscribe to those two channels. It's very important. <laughs> yeah, it's so important. It's not important. Okay, so one minute you were saying, I'm going to leave this platform if I get my this channel taken down. Then now you've got all these other channels. Which is it, Creed? You're either in or you're out, okay? Which is it? I don't care what road you pick, because if you want to continue on this platform, fine. You want to make an ass of yourself like you do on a daily basis? Go right ahead, because you know what? It's so easy to go. It's so easy to to bust your ass up, and it's hilarious. I'm just making my fans and my friends laugh, and other people laugh at your bullshit, and we're basically exposing you at every turn because it's nothing less than what you deserve. If you want to keep up to date with me or this channel, just because anything can happen on YouTube, anything. And Geordie Pluto. I would rather lick the inside of a Thailand prison than ever watch a full iota of your video. AKA Jordan Campbell, if you're watching this. I know, I, I, look, I know that was a gross analogy. I apologize. But I'm just saying, like, I'd, I'd rather do anything than, than be subjected to even one second of his bullshit. And Geordie Pluto, AKA Jordan Campbell, if you're watching this, 
go fucking kill yourself, you worthless cunt. I hope you get fucking cancer. I hope you fucking get hit by a car, truck, train. I hope you fucking drown. What fucking whatever. How do you even respond to people like this? Okay. You're doing the exact same thing that you criticized Damien over and you slandered Damien over and lectured Damien about. Shall we reminisce? So telling her to commit suicide now, you're really going to go that low all because of a privacy complaint. How pathetic. Killer Creed breaks hypocrisy records worse than anybody I have seen in, in half my life, if not my whole life, that I've seen in years, that I've seen in years. Killer Creed keeps breaking hypocrisy records worse than anybody I've seen in a very long time. It's just, wow. I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> Honestly, you are a piece of shit for doing this. Takes one to know one, bitch. You got what you deserved. You played with fire and you got burned. You don't poke a stick in the eye of the tiger and exp you don't you don't poke the stick in the eye of the mother bear that's protecting her cubs and expect the mother bear to not go full bear and react. And um, if I saw you in real life, I'd paint the walls with your smashed up head. But anyway. That's yeah. it for this video, I guess. Oh, okay. Killer Creed trying to play tough guy on the internet. Wow. Okay, you know what? What he's been doing here, not only was he, he was glorifying violence, but he was also making terrorist threats and, and basically saying he's going to commit violence. So he's basically saying to making terrorist threats against this person. Whether or not he got the video taken down on false pretenses, I don't give a shit because I don't feel bad for him. I don't feel bad for him. He's not a victim. He's not a fucking victim. So I don't feel bad for him. So any person would have legitimacy to, fall, to, to flag this video for threats and violence and glorifying violence. And I'm not saying to do that. I'm not going to do that either because I'm not going to sink down to Creed's level. I'm not even going to waste my fucking time. Because I got way better things to do with my time than to go that far with this moron. I'm not saying to do that. But I am. what I am saying is expose this motherfucker at every turn. Yeah, I tried to make a community post about this, but YouTube fucking took it down for some bullshit reason. So here I am making this video, which I didn't really want to have to make because I didn't want to have to give Jordan Campbell attention again, but here we fucking are. Yeah, here we are. And here I am. And here I am exposing you at every turn too. Go fuck yourself, Kree. Again, you're not a victim. You, whether or not you got false copyright strike, I don't care if you did or you didn't because you know what? Whether or not it was false or not, even if it's false and it's not right, I'm not going to lose a wink of sleep over you. I'm not going to come out here and sympathize with you. I'm not going to sympathize with you. I'm not going to feel bad for you or anything because you're not a victim. You never were. You never have been and you never will be because at the end of the day, you bring this all on yourself. And if you had anything better to do with your time and if you were doing anything else with your life constructively or productive, you would not be in this predicament. You brought it on yourself. The paper trail came and ended with you and your actions. Actions have consequences. You are free to say and do as you please, but you are not free of the consequences that are going to follow. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment more kind this if you'd like to check out. My other channels are... I'm not fucking interested. So I've already mentioned Ozzy Tiger 2.0. It's a channel... Ozzy Tiger 2.0. Uh, nope, not interested. It will become my main channel. This channel gets a second strike. I also have Aussie Tiger 3.0, which is my third channel, which will be my backup to my second channel. So please go ahead and subscribe to that. Let's get that to at least a couple hundred subscribers soon. 
and I also have Tiger TV, which is my AFL Richmond Highs channel. So if you'd like to go ahead and check those three out, and possibly subscribe, links to them will be in the description. I also have Instagram, it is called Aussie Tiger YT. So if you'd like to go ahead and follow that, link to that will also be in the description. I hope you've had a good day, and I'll see you all in the next one. That was just, that was just pathetic. It's just Creed, another day, another moron. That's pretty much what it is. He's worse than he's ever been. This, he can't, just when you think he can't, a human being cannot get any dumber, they somehow manage. Because with Killer Creed, he never fails to surprise me with his stupidity. On rare occasions, he does surprise me because sometimes he sings so low that it's just unreal. But with this, it was kind of sort of what I expected. I expected him to do this. I didn't really expect the violence and the terrorist threats and whatnot. But, you know, it is what it is. This is just... This is Creed for you. Another day, another moron. Killer Creed is an embarrassment to his country. He is a shame to his country. Because you know what? As a country, I love Australia. I think, I think the people from there are absolutely great. I think they're amazing. I've met many. I've met a few people from Australia, and they're, they're some of the nicest, coolest, chillest people I've ever met. And I think Australia is a beautiful country. I'd love to visit there someday, especially after COVID. Definitely after COVID and whatnot. But Killer Creed is an embarrassment, is an embarrassment to his people down under. I know, I know there's shitty people in every country and every part of the world, everywhere. But Killer Creed is just, he's, I'm just lost for words by his stupidity. He's, he's not a serious person. He's disingenuous. He's, he's, as low, he's about as low as low can get, basically. And just when you think he's, he can't get any stupider, he just somehow manages. Just another day for Killer Creed. Nothing new here. Killer Creed is just, I'm lost for words for what he is. He has no self-awareness. He has no, he has no, he has nothing. He has nothing to argue on, no leg to stand on. This is how he is, and that's all he always is going to be. He's never going to fucking change. He's a loser, and he always will be a loser. So Killer Creed, keep it up. Whether you stay on YouTube or not, I don't give a shit. It's not going to fucking change anything. You want to flood my comments with bullshit, with bullshit comments, go right ahead and do it. Go fuck yourself. Say whatever you want. I'm just going to sit back and laugh. The more you comment, the more you spam my comments and your fantards do it, I'm just going to laugh. The harder, I'm going to laugh. So keep it up, because you know what? At the end of the day, you're just proving my point, just like you did here. That's Aussie Tiger for you. He's not a tiger, he's a fucking coward. Tigers are strong, tigers are strong brass animals. He's not, he's a coward and he's a nobody. So Killer Creed, kiss my fucking ass. You're a nobody and you're a nothing, get fucked. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Uh, this has already been 32 minutes long and I'm surprised I even got through this. Well, it's cause I got a new phone, new battery, a new battery and uh, I upgraded more storage so I won't have that issue. I'll have to keep making video part, part one of part two or whatever. Won't be having to do that anytime soon, thankfully. But anyway, that's about it for today. This is, this is Creed's, this is Creed, typical day for the motherfucker, typical day for him, typical day for this nobody. Anyway, there's definitely other videos I want to respond to because they're so ridiculous and they involve some of my, one of my other fans. I'm probably not going to respond to it at this, I'm not going to respond to it at this time. I probably will in the future. I don't know. I probably will at some point when I get around to it. I definitely am going to talk about more fun, interesting topics going forward, but comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll be back with more videos and a whole bunch of other stuff in the works. Stay tuned to find out more and more videos on the way. This is Zach the Celtics guy saying thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace, have a nice day or night, and to all my fans and everyone watching, have a good day or night, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now, peace out, and Killer Creed, fuck you, go fuck yourself, kiss my ass. Good night.